This is Conrad Sean White reporting live from Alexander Correctional. And uh, I wanted to expound on the, the security security threat group that most of us that are politically conscious are being subjected to. The SRG security risk group officers use this tag to politically suppress our, our views, our beliefs, and whatnot. And I put, for, for those who are unaware of what SRG is, allow me to explain. A security risk group is another term for a game. As the RIPPP Minister of Defense, Conrad Rashid, outlined in his recent article, How the Pig Abused the Gang Label, which can be read on his website, RashidMod.com, prison officials use the gang label to control prisons, target non-affiliated politically conscious and otherwise problematic prisoners, and to justify increasingly increasingly strict calls for increased funding and resources and staff in the construction of more prisons, especially supermax and solitary confinement units. Here in North Carolina, prisoners are not permitted to, to see the SRG policies and procedures. The SRG officials claim that there, there are policies related to SRG, but it would be a security risk to allow us to see it. This clearly violates our due process. How are we, how are we we may be involved in SRG activities and unaware of what SRG activities are. Prison, prison officials consider XR, SRG activities. The SRG labels also use is also used to attack prisons who are politically conscious. That's a blanket, and SRG officials act with complete control when it comes to validating prisoners as members of a security risk group and while censoring all our incoming and outgoing mail. Here in North Carolina, all it takes is for one of these SRG pigs who are exclusively white, who have no connection to the community of communities or cultures of the 90% black and brown prisoners who they have validated. You see, being validated doesn't mean you are recognized as a gang member. Validated prisoners are subject to harsh and unconstitutional restrictions such as unable to receive contact visits, prohibited to receive visits from any one other than immediate family members. So if you have children and and you and the child's mother isn't married, you are unable to visit with your child unless you have an immediate family member to accompany them. Limited to two 15-minute phone calls a month. How can, a, how can a man maintain a meaningful relationship with his family with two calls a month? Unable to receive financial support from anyone beyond your immediate family members due to the policy that was incorporated February 5th, 2019, that prohibits funds being deposited on your JK account by anyone who isn't on your visiting list. As I have said, validated prisoners are only allowed to visit, receive visits from their immediate family. So if you have no immediate family, or if they have been convicted of a felony, you're comp compelled to become innocent. Once validated, you will deny access to educational and vocation to vocational programs and prisons, discriminated in custody reviews, work assignment, and early release. Once validated, it is an indefinite in duration without any fair opportunity to to an adequate review or to have the label removed once imposed. Not only does the SRG label destroy the relationship between the violated prisoner and his family, but it pre pre prevents a chance of rehabilitation. This is the issue I have been fighting for the past eight years, and no progress has been made. I recently filed a complaint to the courts, but with the, prison, with the prisoners need the support of those of you on the outside to help redress this issue. I am in the process of organizing a campaign that would force the legislature to this matter. If you are interested in assisting us, please contact me at riwpo at ribpp.org. Activists here in NC in are needed because they must be the boots on the ground. Black August, Black August is quickly approaching, and I intend to direct the energy and the spirit of all the fallen comrades to addressing this issue. Thank you. All power to people.